Mr. Mayor of New Rochelle, Noel Bramson, to say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is a uh, pleasure to be here with, uh, with colleagues, and I should introduce the dignitaries who are present, members of the City Council, Lou Trangucci, Albert Tarantino, Ivar Hyman, State Assemblyman Steve Otis, uh, representing Congressman Engel, uh, Jay Wedgmont, representing State Senator Andre Stewart's cousins, Diane Atkins, uh, our former State Assemblyman from whom we'll hear in a short while, Ron Tochi, uh, and although he was already mentioned, City Manager Strom representing our, our City Administrative Team, Delighted, of course, to be here with members of our fire department and our police department. Uh, we're grateful for their presence. And I'm most honored to be here in the company of veterans from throughout our region, most especially those who served in Vietnam. Let's give them a round of applause. Please. I think we all understand that the war in Vietnam was among the most divisive conflicts in American history. And to this day, there are profound disagreements about the wisdom and nature and conduct of the war. And that's okay, because in a democracy, in a free society, we are not ashamed to disagree over matters of policy in war or in peace. And it is especially true when the choices are most significant that we, we should be most understanding and respectful of dissent. But there is one thing about which there should be no division and no disagreement, and that is the profound sacrifice of the men and women who served in Vietnam under the flag of the United States of America. sons and daughters of our city of New Rochelle, too many of whom returned wounded in body or in mind, too many of whom returned in caskets. And so it is in that spirit of recognizing and honoring sacrifice that on behalf of the 80,000 residents of New Rochelle, with humility and gratitude, I accept the gift of this monument. I accept the gift of the Veterans Committee that made this possible, of the donors who contributed to this event, and I express my hope that this may serve as a perpetual reminder of the debt that all of us owe, along with our children and grandchildren, to those who served with pride and distinction and honor in the war in Vietnam, and to continue to honor America in all their deeds and in their personal examples. Thank you. God bless America. God bless our community of Definitely need to go back to United We Stand, that's for sure.